Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Nandi. If you do know me, welcome back. In today's nurse practitioner tips and tricks video, this is probably one of my most requested videos, you guys. And I finally got the chance to sit down and film it for you. I am going to be talking to you guys about how to survive. How to survive farm in path though okay look there have been so many people who have asked me to film this video <laughs> so many people and i'm so happy i finally have the chance to spill the beans tell you guys the tea tell you how to survive okay most importantly before we get into this video please go ahead and subscribe to the channel you guys i have a whole nurse practitioner tips and tricks playlist so if you are interested in videos just like this one other videos to help you survive as a nurse practitioner things you need to know i got you okay so subscribe to the channel and be on the lookout for more content like this one okay now that we are all subscribed let's go ahead and get into the video okay so the first thing that i'm going to do i'm going to sort of split things up okay it's just easier to explain to you guys first thing i'm going to do i feel like the most important thing is to talk about resources things that i use that help me specifically for farm resources i use that help me specifically for patho so we're gonna go into both okay And then at the very end, I'm going to talk to you about things that you should be doing for both subjects in order to succeed, okay? Let's first go ahead and talk about farm. Pharmacology. The number one thing I would recommend, flashcards, flashcards, flashcards. Now, resources, okay? If you go online and Google Level Up RN Farm Flashcards, I'm gonna also put the link down below, but there is a wonderful woman out there. I do not know her name, okay? But she created all of these flashcards to help you learn pharmacology. And the beautiful thing about her flashcards is she splits it up depending upon the system, okay? And I have some here because I had them in my house. So you can see. So here is a cardiovascular system flashcard. This one is a nervous system flashcard. Like she just goes on and on and on. This one, MSK this one endocrine but anyway you get the point she goes into detail about different medications and she separates them by their system it's a great way to learn farm i really liked her flashcards very much so for the bsn but in the msn you will take advanced pharmacology so they are still helpful to review another thing that you can use quizlet if you don't have the time to go ahead and make your own flashcards if you don't feel like purchasing the level up rn flashcards quizlet has flashcards out there just for you quizlet has almost everything like i don't know quizlet is just it's 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 the best okay you can go on there and just simply use flashcards that other people have already created they are out there google what it is you need to study use those flashcards on quizlet okay if you are not into flashcards because some people simply are not that's not how they learn and that's completely fine okay i still got options for you if you're not into flashcards i would personally recommend making what is called a medication table okay and your table can vary depending upon what it is you want to put on there but things I would recommend is the drug, drug class, adverse reactions, anything specific that you need to know 
for your test okay for whoever is testing you because people also test differently but it's a great way to sort of divide up the information and you can do this you can create a chart on word you can do this in excel however you would like but that's another great way to study and learn your pharmacology information if you're not into that there are books out there literally books that people have created that literally just goes into medications like it just talks about all medications you need to know you can literally go on Amazon you can just Google like pharmacology books and they have little portable books that you can take with you that are like pocket size that goes over information regarding your medications okay let's go into another resource now this resource i actually found just by um doing my own research and it's called osmosis and osmosis you can literally go on and google it but it was created by a textbook company and you literally can go on there if for instance you're like me and you're in a nurse practitioner program you can go on there literally go to the tab click nurse practitioner and they have like all different topics that you can use you can use it for farm you can also use it to help study for patho but they have videos they have flashcards, they have practice questions they have high yield notes all of things that you can use they also have an app if you're interested in studying information on the go so that's a great resource that you guys can look into another resource that you guys can look into is called picmonic okay and if you are unfamiliar with picmonic i feel like everybody pretty much knows about picmonic today but if you are unfamiliar with picmonic then you have me here to tell you all about it okay so picmonic is actually an auto visual learning system they have videos short videos some from like two minutes some to four minutes they have some that are even longer but they pretty much tell you stories about medications they even have like cute little cartoon characters that they use to get their point across but pretty much it'll teach you everything that you need to know okay it's efficient it's effective it's actually been researched proven to help increase test scores by 50 percent you guys that's a lot i actually use picmonic in my bsn portion and it was also helpful in the msn portion just whenever i wanted a review and i wanted to just get everything in my brain real quick okay real quick picmonic is a great resource tool for you and i am grateful to be working with picmonic and I actually have a discount code for you guys. So if you're interested in using Pigmonic, I feel like they're big, especially for farm. You can use my discount code Nandi, N-A-N-D-I-R-M-R-Z, and it'll be here on the screen as well, to get 30% off your Pigmonic subscription. That is amazing. And thank you to Picmonic. I just think that's so cool. But the link will be down below for you guys. You can use my link, type in my discount code, and receive that 30% off. Big Picmonic is awesome. And I really think that you guys would enjoy it. I think it's a great resource for you to have, okay? Another thing that I would recommend in the nurse practitioner program is to use your farm notes if you still have them use your farm notes from your bsn portion okay i kept all my notes from my bsn portion that's another reason why i highly recommend using an ipad because you can just keep everything in one place nice neat and organized but let's say you have a professor in your masters in your nurse practitioner program that you might not be you know like vibing with maybe you don't necessarily like their teaching style but you really like the way things were explained to you in your bsn go ahead and review over those bsn notes as well it can be extremely helpful that is pretty much all the resources that i wanted to go over with you guys in regards to pharmacology 
Now let's go ahead and talk about Patho. Patho, number one resource. I will also say you can use flashcards, flashcards, flashcards. There are things out there like Patho Flash, P-H-L-A-S-H. Um, there are also pathophysiology memory note cards out there. So there are plenty of things that you can use if you are somebody like me that likes flashcards. Another resource you can use and look into is Khan Academy. I love Khan Academy. I use Khan Academy so much, especially in college, like college, but they have things out there to use if you're in um programs such as nurse practitioner programs so definitely look into Khan Academy I love them I they the best okay also osmosis as previously explained about farm they also have information and resources for you guys in regards to patho another thing that you can use I actually use this book as well patho physiology made incredibly easy this is the book it can be helpful in your BSN, it can be helpful in your MSN, okay? If you just want something made a little bit easier for you guys, explained maybe in a different way, I do recommend getting another book, another resource to help you. Also, as mentioned in regards to farm, use your notes from your BSN for your MSN patho class, okay? read over those notes because once again like i said just in case you maybe have a professor you're not really vibing with you never know get <laughs> those notes that you use in your bsn and use them for your msn okay now let's go ahead and talk about the advice that i have to survive in both courses so things that i feel like you should be doing for both of them okay number one study a little bit each and every day do not cram do not cram i'm gonna say it again for the people in the back do not cram okay break up the material learn a little bit each day review a little bit each day it'll save you so much anxiety and stress and all of that it'll save you so much of that we don't need that okay just break it up review a little bit each day i also recommend study groups for both classes also, study groups is a great way to meet new people, especially if you're in an online program like I was, okay? It's great because you have other people to go to if you have questions. And if a lot of material is being covered, you can actually like split up the readings with the other people in your study group. Okay, so that way you have everybody reading sections, taking notes on sections, and you can just put everything in a Google Doc for everybody to sort of collab in, okay? And on top of all of that, it's a great way to help with time management. So you're not reading literally every single thing. However, if you are somebody like, uh, you know, I still prefer to take my own notes, you can still do that. You can still literally read everything and I would still recommend it, especially if you have the time, read everything. And then you can go into that Google Doc or print out whatever your study group person had to say, print it out, you can always add to it. You can always add to it. Just based upon whatever notes or other things you feel like are important that aren't already on that Google Doc. I also recommend study groups because it's a great way to have and just gain some emotional support, okay? Because you are going to need it. <laughs> You are going to need it. It's a great way to have other people just motivate you, tell you you can do it, and you guys help push each other and teach each other and get through that finish line, okay? Make it past that finish line. Next thing we're going to talk about, no matter what, for both subjects, questions, 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 okay? I used to like read chapters. I would always use the questions at the end of the textbook chapter or, you know, some textbooks have questions at the very back of the book. Either way, I use the questions that were provided in the textbook, okay? You can always Google 
look for other practice questions and other resources as well if you want extra questions. Another thing that I would recommend for both subjects, videos. Personally, I really like videos. I would refer to YouTube a lot, like throughout any of my programs, throughout any of my science classes, YouTube gonna get you through as well, okay? So look up specific topics that you need help with, refer to YouTube, and they will give you something. Somebody out there has something, I promise you. <laughs> Lastly, when all else fails, what should you do when all else fails? You have tried everything. You have done everything that I've talked about. First thing I would say, seek out a tutor. If your school has tutors available, use them. We are giving these schools so much of our money. And I've said this before, these schools get so much of our money. Whatever resources that they have in place for you, whoever it is that is out there, to help you find them, <laughs> find them and use them. Okay, that is what they, that is literally what they are there for. Next thing, number two, and this is a big thing. Okay, go to your professors if you need help. Let them know that you are struggling and see what they would be willing to do in order to help you, in order for you to succeed and do well in their class. That may include one-on-one -on -one study sessions, just you and the professor. Or you can even ask them if they know someone else that is really doing well in their class, and let's say you are not, see if they will be willing to reach out to that student and have that student help you, see if that student will be willing to tutor you because and this is something i recommend as well like see who, who see who is doing well in the class and the key is to find out what they are doing because sometimes we just need to study and do things in a different way okay it may not necessarily be like oh like you know you're not getting it or something like that you just meet, may need to learn the material in a different way and it's nice and helpful to see what other techniques other students are using trust me this is very smart okay so let's say they pair you up you find that student okay you know ask them you know how are you studying what are you doing to succeed well and what are you doing to get these good grades on these tests because we need to know okay we need to know and they just might tell you about something you haven't thought about yet that could be beneficial to you. Whew, that was a lot, okay? That was a lot. But those are all of the resources, everything that I could think of to help you succeed and do well in your pharmacology and in your patho courses. You can do it. Those two classes are probably, uh, ugh, it, ugh. But you need to know, okay? You need to know the information. Those two classes are rough, but you need to know the information. And I truly feel like if you're able to do everything that we talked about, if we're able to follow those tips about what to do when all else fails, you will succeed. Keep trying, keep studying, keep working hard, take those breaks when necessary. And you got this. Trust me, you got this, okay? Stay positive. You got this. If you guys have any specific questions for me, put them down below. Go ahead, leave me a comment. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I hope that this was helpful for you guys. I know farm and patho can be so challenging, but you guys got this. Like I've said a billion times, you got this. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.